Welcome back to the world's worst fishing everybody. I'm Chris Jones and uh, right now I'm in my backyard. I've uh, been doing a little bit of cleaning up on my uh, fish cleaning station here. Uh, so this is a really cool custom made table. Uh, you can see some fish scales. Um, this is actually from an old Publix. <laughs> this big meat cutting board. They, uh, they were throwing it out. I had a uh, friend um, who uh, used to work in the meat department at Publix brought that home one night but I have this big like stainless steel s serving tray so to speak and uh, you can clean your fish in there uh, I usually clean them on the table on the board that I just showed you right in here and um, yeah this thing is awesome it has lighting it has a sink for you know rinsing off your fillets or whatever you're doing you can bag them up and uh, and what's really neat is that the hose back here um, mine some of the mess but the hose hooks up to a three gallon hot water heater uh, so I can actually run hot water if I'm out here cleaning fish uh, when it's freezing out or just whatever so a really cool piece of equipment built for me uh, by my father-in-law so yep that has nothing to do with today's video but uh, I haven't shown this on here in ages so uh, if any of you guys eat a lot of fish you know consider putting something like this together and uh, I, I think you'll I think you'll absolutely love it. I this was a Christmas present. I had no idea it was coming, and uh, and it's been a great piece of equipment for our household. And oh, how I miss being on my bass boat! I won't get to go this weekend. This weekend is Landon's birthday party. Yeah, isn't this bad? Freaking spider webs. Okay, that's 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 what happens when your boat sits for two weeks. That's a long time. But uh, this weekend is Landon's birthday on Saturday having folks over that's kind of why i'm cleaning up the backyard and, uh, and then sunday i'm going to jacksonville to see the great virgil donati's band D super drummer from australia virgil donati uh, if you're into music at all check out virgil donati um y you've never heard somebody play odd time signatures like this guy but man after this weekend we have got to get back in the nitro i'm itching to catch a fish Okay, everybody. Uh, so welcome back to the fish cave. And uh, I so recently, uh, a few weeks ago, maybe three weeks now, something like that, uh, I did a video called Remelt Mania, where I took a bunch of remelt just like this and uh, mixed it all up, heated it, uh, melted it back down, and we just made a ton of stuff. And uh, that video was very popular. I got great feedback on it. Everybody seemed to like it. So I said, hey, now that I have super duper mondo injector I've got to do like another remelt and madness video here but with the assist of the super injector so what I have is a um, is one of the big Pyrex cup and that's full of kind of blues pearls and purples um, with lots of sparkly flake so we're gonna melt that down and that's gonna be one big single color and I mean all of that is just like one shot with this thing uh, so we're going to run as many worms as we can with it. This is all worm blend. Um, some of this may be swim bait blend, but um, you know, either way, it's 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 all soft enough to make good worms. And then right here we have what's going to be a laminate. Um, this has been a recent color right there in a video, as are my shad worm leftover sprues. So we're just going to melt those laminate sprues right down. Uh, we're going to melt those laminate sprues together into one color laminate it with that color and then I have some just kind of random pumpkin stuff over here um, that we're gonna do so we're just gonna see how many worms we can make in an hour okay here's kind of the first uh, cup of cup of goodies here yeah kind of like that yeah kind of blue purple sparkle and again, when you're doing remelts, you don't have to use exactly what comes out. You could then add something to it. There's no laws against that, but that's kind of what we're looking like right now. And a lot of that is the leftover cores from my core shot video where I made a bunch of blue core shots. That's the leftover core. A lot of this is the leftover blue core plastic. All right, so there's what we have. I went ahead and put it in the vacuum chamber just to get those bubbles out. 
a lot of times when your remelt sits, when it just sits and sits and sits for a while, uh, it does collect moisture in your shop. And um, the best way to get that out is just run it through the uh, vacuum chamber. All right, so there's what we have. So we're gonna get out our Mondo injector. We have a seven inch ribbon tail, eight inch ribbon tail, six and a half inch finesse worm. Um, I use these molds on here a lot. So if you've watched my channel before, you're definitely probably familiar with those. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mondo injector time. Yeah. This thing is crazy. You hardly feel like you're pushing it down because you only have to push it down like half an inch <laughs> to fill all these cavities. All right, now we're gonna come over here, do our finesse worms. Oops, there we go. Okay. Trying not to flash. Fill up our screws there. Okay. Alrighty. Still plenty left in this thing. Look at that. Alright. There is our first run of baits. Okay, now let's take our, uh, goodness lord, take our plug out of this thing, see what we get. Yeah. Some hockey puck of plastic right there. So there'll definitely be plenty left to remelt. Um, so we'll have to transfer it to a smaller cup and uh, then we'll do uh, some more baits with it, of course. Oh, and I forgot to show, um, it is 4.55 right now. Um, so that first run was about 4.50 then. So we're gonna try to see how many we can do in an hour. Unless uh, my wife gets home with the baby and there's something going on that I have to get distracted with, we're gonna try to see how many we can do in about an hour. And real quick, I had um, some, this is what's left in the cup or what was left in the big cup. This is not the, re the sprue remelt yet. But we're gonna take the leftovers of it and pour a few worms, because we always do. Always like to see what colors look good in this thing. So anytime I have some leftover stuff, I always try to make a few of these worms with it. It's just too tempting. Too tempting, so. Anyway, I'll go ahead and cut the camera here and uh, pour a few more of these. Okay, wait drum roll here. Let's uh, go ahead and get these. Let's go ahead and get moving, y'all. Try to get this centered up. Okay. Let's see what we have. Yeah. It basically looks like the core from the core shot, of course, but there's more purple in it. So, that ain't bad. I am not uh, upset with that in the least bit, especially for some remelt that's been sitting ever since that video. So, that's several, week old, several weeks old. And uh, I think it turned out quite nice. Let's get these big worms out. Well, we'll get the camera maybe a little bit closer to everything and let down some more. All right. Check to make sure that we're still in frame all right. Yeah, it looks decent. Might need to scooch it this way. Okay. Looks good there. Looks good here. Yeah. All right. I have a feeling we're going to need a bigger bath today. <laughs> Let's see if all these came out. Ah, I knew that top one didn't go. That's just the nozzle on the injector is, is uh, pretty stout. So it goes past that cavity. Alrighty. 
Yeah, those are looking good. Next. Yep, feels like it filled in. And last one. Yeah. All right. Pile of stuff going on here already. So, <clears throat> just kind of like in the uh, first video with the big injector, I think I did the exact same run. Uh, so yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Then uh, we have our hand pourers curing, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, heat up the next round of stuff and keep cracking here. All right, so here's what we have as far as remelt from that first run. That's pretty much the rest of it. So now we're gonna use our sissy injector. <laughs> And let's see, we're going to do the two sevens, the seven inch. All right, so there's one, there's two. And maybe one finesse worm, I don't know if I can get it. It's going to be close. Ooh, I think I got it. Think, think, think. Okay, yeah, that felt good. Okay. All right, so that's about 12 or 13 more worms. Yeah, so eight here, five there. Okay. All right, 13 more worms, just like that. All right, and finishing up getting these hand pours out. Yeah, I like that. All right, so here are the handies, hand pours. All right, that's nine of those. Looking good, looking good. Then we've got that uh, kind of green and silver laminate heating up in the microwave. So that will be next, but we still have to get these out here. So we're just gonna see how these did. Bring our bath back over here, okay. Yeah, those are still a mite bit warm. Woo! Nelly. Okay. But they all came out. And then we have our ribbon tails. So these should be set up just a little more because I shot these first. Yeah. It's looking good there. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger bath here before too long. We keep doing videos like this. Gonna have to go raid my wife's Tupperware collection and see what I can get away with, huh? All right. Perfect. Boom. All right, so there's what we have in about 20 minutes. Okay, that is just still so pretty. And, uh, and so is that. These are, these are gonna be like the, the knockout worms of today. This is like good remelt right here. So we're gonna do laminates. And we're gonna do finesse worms. Oh, that wasn't quite there. So uh, I think I've got it set up to where the top side is gonna be the green side. Not 100%, I didn't really check ahead of time, but I know this mold pretty well. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully we're gonna get something good here. I might run out of plastic because of my little boo-boo. Ugh. No. Need to refill sprues here. We'll try it. Don't think we have enough. And that may have been enough. Either way, we've got to top off the sprues here. You know, I think that's gonna work. Fingers crossed, everybody. All right, let's take a look at some of these finesse worms. Hey, you know, that's not half bad. That is not half bad. So kind of green side, well, yeah. The, but you can see I kind of messed up the laminate on that first one, but that's cool. You can see the gray side on the, silver side on the bottom, green side on the top. Yeah, check that out. It's, it, it's a real subtle laminate. When you first look at them, 
Um, you can't really necessarily tell. Well, I, I don't know, I guess you can. But like when I first took them out of the mold, I was like, oh, you can't really see the laminate, but now I can see it a little more. These other molds should have done better. Yeah, so for example, you can see all of those have the silver side and the green side. It's, it's kind of like a fancy baby bass. That's what that is. That's like a fancy baby bass because baby bass is watermelon with um, gold and green, which looks a lot like that, and then a pearl bottom. So this is remelt fancy baby bass. That is what that is. I, I knew it kind of looked familiar. And, and what's crazy is that I didn't even think of that when I was mixing it up. It just, it didn't even dawn on me. Hmm, Jones, this is a really common color that you've made a thousand times. I thought I had something completely new. That's okay. They're all new. There are no mess ups. Only new colors. All right, so here's one of those colors and that is spectacular. Uh, so my curiosity got the best of me and I kind of want to see what this looks like in the grass grenade. So I'm going to make two of these. I'm not going to do all of them because I want to save a little bit of that um, to maybe pour a few worms with. But um, I definitely wanted to see it in something other than a worm. And everything kind of looks good in the stinger mold here. So I'm going to zap this for a few minutes and maybe pour three or four of the hand pour worms just to have a little bit of variety on that one all right so i'm not really sure what this is uh this was sent to me along with the mondo injector it's a flying worm with wings i don't i don't know i'm sure that is something i've never poured it so <laughs> we're gonna see what it is you know you can have fun like this when you're when you're remelting this is a tough little thing to pour. Goodness gracious. Like, it's it's tiny. Yeah, definitely some flashing going on there. Let's see if we can try to keep that to a minimum, though. Yeah, this is a tough cookie right here. Oh, God. Ugh, yuck. That's nah, not going to be good. Anyway, we're going to pour a few of our worms here. And, uh, and then we'll take all this stuff out and show you what we got. Okay, let's take a look at these grenades. Come on now. Mm. Yeah. Nice, natural, just kind of pumpkin candy. Pumpkin candy gold. I mean, that's that's got kind of all the classic colors in one there. Can't, can't go wrong with something like that. I think, you know, that's in anything pumpkin just kind of works in everything um, if you guys pour baits at home you'll kind of know what I mean it just kind of works for everything sort of like June bug or black with blue you can make anything in those colors and it's good you know you don't have to worry about pulling something out of the mold that's gonna suck if you uh, stick to the basics yeah um, all right this thing is a mess that one right there that's a complete disgrace we're not even gonna look at that this one is salvageable <laughs> look at that hmm. there's even little eyeballs on it yeah with enough trimming that might be kind of interesting that's uh I mean I mean these are tiny tiny margins here that's a I mean whoever whoever came up with that and mastered it uh, good job. My hat is off to you. And it somehow floats. I mean, that's not floating plastic, I don't think. Maybe it is. The grenades are sinking. All right, anyway, moving on. Okay, here's our next cup of random goo. Looks like we have quite a few. Ugh. Looks like we have quite a few things going on in there. Definitely some pearls mixed with some nice snot green yeah, that's actually not bad i am gonna add something to that though i'm not yeah we can do better than that all right so we hit it with the vacuum chamber and it overflowed a little bit but that's actually that would be cool in a swim bait however we're not making swim baits so we're gonna maybe add a few random things we're gonna there's already some small gold in it so we're gonna add some more 
It's just like the little teeny tiny stuff. It's MF manufacturing 0 .004. And, uh, and then we're gonna add some blue powder to it just because there's already a lot of blue highlight in it. So we're just gonna kinda already add some colors that are sorta kinda already in this and see if I get something that I like a little better. It, it may kinda still suck. That's actually really cool. This may turn out better than I thought. Yeah, what do you guys think? It's not too bad. I think that's worth a few minutes. So uh, let's see. We're gonna do a full injector here. And this is the Angling AI kicker worm right here. So I'm gonna do one of those and I'll probably only get one of these right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna get both of those. That's such a big worm. But there's tons left over that we can use. So we'll definitely make some more things with this color. We'll uh, maybe run a few finesse worms with it. I kind of like it. I really like it actually. And real quick, there are the hand pours from that color right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's get this uh, <clears throat> kicker worm out here. Alrighty. Come on. Well, I'll tell you, it definitely looked better in the cup than it does in that worm right there. Although, I would definitely have confidence throwing that. That might be definitely not bad swim bait. I'm trying to think of what that would really look good in. I'm not quite sure. I mean, like it, it might be a good molting crawl color. You know, you, you always hear about molting crawls, you know, when the crawfish start like shedding their shells or growing their new ones. I don't know exactly how it works. But they're kind of said to have sort of a look like that. You know, that might do well there. I'm not sure what bait it would necessarily look great in. I do think maybe a little swim bait, definitely not a big swim bait, but just a little that's like a trailer bait maybe for a jig or something. I think that might work well. But um, definitely not the worst color I've ever made. Okay, and real quick, because our hour's almost up, I'm gonna try to get some finesse worms with this uh, color here. All right. I don't think I'll get all three. I need, I usually need like a full injector to get all three. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. That's gonna be close. That's gonna be real close. Alrighty. Yeah, it's like it's beautiful in the cup. Uh, especially like if you were here to see it in person, you can really see the highlight and some of the, you know, different hues of the greens and blues. Uh, but in the worm, it, it doesn't look quite as good. Alright guys, 5.49. Basically, exactly an hour later. We definitely don't have over 200 baits. In fact, I'll be surprised if we even have 200 baits. That's what happens when you get distracted and you start pulling different molds and start doing hand pours. <clears throat> you know, my, my uh, curiosity just gets the better of me and I have to see colors and different things. But that's okay. I don't really, you know, I, I don't know when I'm going to use all these. In fact, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. If you see something that you like, holler at me. We can uh, work something out. This is still good stuff, so definitely a lot of fish catching potential made today. Alrighty, so there's the current bath. Then we're going to go get all the stuff that was in there before. And we're going to kind of arrange them out on the table and uh, just kind of take a look at what we did. A lot of stuff, for sure. Yeah, here we go, guys. Looking pretty good. Definitely looking pretty good. Not bad. My favorite is definitely uh, that laminate finesse worm. And then I think those. I, I like that color a lot. So yeah, 
Remelt uh, is, is a good thing. Always a good thing. And, and these blue worms are pretty cool too. I, I definitely don't mind that one bit. So yeah, pretty cool stuff again. Just uh, I have a big box of remelts up under this table. And there you go, there's an hour of remelt. So anytime you have an hour to spare and you have your remelts laying around, again, just like the last video, bust them remelts out. Well, all right, everybody, that's going to wrap this video up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please, lots of comments down below. Let me know which one was your favorite, which one was your not favorite. Um, if they all were great, if they all were bad, uh, let me know. Um, if there's some in here that you want, holler at me. Um, we'll see what we can do about sending them your way. Definitely a bunch of stuff. You know what? I haven't counted them yet. Let me try to get a, uh, a total. But before I do, any guesses? What do you think we have here? Okay, that is not near as many as I thought. That's only 108, 108 baits. Now, some of, you know, I, I did waste quite a bit of time if I had just lined up molds and um, just killed them, you know, maybe using the Presto pot, I could have done several hundred in an hour. Um, that really wasn't the case though. I didn't have enough remelt of like similar colors to necessarily get a lot of one color that wouldn't just be just straight suicide baits where you're just mixing up black green blue orange whatever you've got and it all comes out looking like crap um, so i did the best i could trying to match remelts with other remelts to try to get actual decent colors so that's that's actually not bad though 108 baits in an hour goofing off of remelts and have some really great stuff to show for it all right, guys, we're actually going to go this time. We'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching.